In this video, I'll be introducing you to a library called cleave.js and you can find it over here, nozzle.github.io slash cleave.js. That's a library which formats your input content when you're typing. So if I scroll down, you'll find certain demos like for credit card formatting. If you start typing 3-4, you can see it's highlighting the American Express. And if I go here and say, I start the credit card number as 48, you can see it starts with Visa. So it highlights Visa over here. And the code to achieve this is pretty easy. You can see we are just creating an instance of the cleave class. And here we are passing the input element, setting credit card to true. And whenever the user types it, card number whatever a UI update you want to do you can do it over here in the callback function similarly you have got phone number formatting so here you can select all the countries and based on that the number that you will be entering will be formatted as you can see over here similarly for date formatting you have date format delimiter You have date pattern here we are saying year month and date and the delimiter is a dash date is set to true so you can just go ahead and type it over here like if i type year and then it will ask me to type the month and then the date it's like this and it will validate the date as well so I cannot type 36 over there and you can see based on the year it's automatically coming up with the date that February is going to have so earlier I tried typing 31 but it brought it back to 29 so that validation is also built in similarly you can just go with month and year this usually comes in handy when you are asking the user to enter credit card expiration date so there we need to just get the month and year and here you will notice that if you provide a capital y it is going to take four digits and if you just provide a small y it will take only two digits month and date as usual they are taking two digits similarly we have time formatting in our minutes and seconds and our minutes as well then we have numeric formatting so if i say style is thousand you can see after every thousand please we are getting this comma indian lack style so you'll get it in this way and you also have custom options you can specify delimiters like dot comma and dash and you can prefix certain things so here the text prefix is prefixed and then whatever you want to type you can do that so this library is pretty awesome if you're working with forms in your web project. You can also make use of this in your React.js components as well. 